Accountability from the Army months after this young Kentucky mother died while serving overseas. Denisha Montgomery was just 27 years old when she was found dead in her barracks in Germany. Her family pressured the military to keep investigating, pushing for the truth. In this WDRB Investigates follow-up, we share how a secondary investigation led to a major change of tune from the Army. Brooklyn. When Denisha Montgomery made this frantic video call to her family last July, I know what is that from? I don't know. They immediately feared for her safety. That looks like a f***ing, uh, knife or something. In the back of my mind and my whole heart told me that her life was in danger. Just weeks later, the 27-year-old mother of three was found dead in her barracks. The Elizabethtown native was serving as a military police officer in Germany. The army ruled her death a suicide, concluding she hanged herself. But her family had doubts from the start. She had bags packed and ready to come home. There was no indication or no any sign of her taking her own life. For months after Montgomery's death, the family pushed the army to keep investigating. Much of their concern stemming from what Montgomery told them during that video call. They choked me out like they did, they was doing me in the car. She had just returned home uh, from a trip to a water park with other members of her unit and told her like family they attacked her. I can't breathe. I was, I was gasping for air. I was like, I can't. Bro, I ain't never been so scared in my life. I for months, the army maintained Montgomery was not assaulted in the car. Army investigators shared video of what happened in the vehicle during a meeting with the family. You're seeing a cell phone recording of what the family saw that day. His hand is around her neck. The family kept fighting for answers and accountability. Ultimately leading the Army to conduct a secondary investigation into Montgomery's death called a 15-6. Um, the scope of the supplemental 15-6 investigation was expanded from the previous investigation to address leader responsibilities, military-specific misconduct, and any unresolved issues. The Army says the investigation did not change its determination that Montgomery died by suicide. When we lose a soldier, when we lose any service member, that's felt across the formation. And one loss of life is one too many. But the supplemental investigation did uncover other important issues. This investigation did find that Specialist Montgomery had been a victim of assault, that there was soldier misconduct unrelated to Specialist Montgomery, and that there was a lack of good order and discipline within the company. Military privacy laws prevent the Army from being specific about the misconduct it discovered and the soldiers involved. We do know the findings were turned over to their chain of command, who will decide if and how they'll be punished. It's a small victory in the family's battle for transparency. They traveled to Washington, D.C. this week to keep putting pressure on lawmakers to have Montgomery's death independently investigated and fight to make the military a safer place for women to serve. These soldiers try to make a better life for themselves and their family by going into the military. They are protecting us. Why are we not protecting them? If you have information about this story or any story you think our Investigates team should look into, you can email us at investigate at wdrb.com.